Now to our continuing coverage of skin care secrets revealed. The FDA issued a warning, you may remember this summer, about products that claim to remove lesions on the skin, like moles, wart like grow skin tags. Uh, there were over-the-counter products being marketed that claimed to get rid of them, but the FDA said, uh, -uh they could be harmful. And Melody joins us now. Mel, I know this caught your attention mm -hmm. because you had your own thing going on with a little yeah, skin tag. I had on a little your face. skin tag under my eye, and it was interesting. Once I started talking to people, this is very common. Yeah. So these ads that were coming on, we were kind of talking about them, and later to find out it's a no, wanted to know what you could do. So. It was cosmetic. It wasn't really causing any problems on me, but skin tags can grow anywhere on your body, especially places where the skin rubs together. So I went to the doctor to find out the proper way to get it removed. This developed probably about four months ago, and it seemed to be getting bigger. I went to my primary care physician, Dr. Vincent Galliano, to see my options. Well, I would suggest doing what you did, coming to your doctor and having it um, removed by someone who's done it a lot. Dr. Galliano says there's really no shortcut when it comes to removing a skin tag. It's soft, fleshy skin colored tissue that sticks out from your skin. Skin tags can pop up anywhere for no reason. But there have been some products that claim to remove skin tags without the help from a professional. The FDA warns products marketed for the cosmetic removal of lesions often have high concentrations of salicylic acid or other potentially dangerous substances. It warns they either don't work or can cause scarring or discoloration. Dr. Galliano warns you don't want to create a bigger problem than you originally had by the removal of a skin tag. Skin tags are benign. Um, usually they don't need treatment. But if a skin tag is in an area that irritates you. It is very close to her eye and it's very small. There's a simple in-office procedure to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of numbing medicine and inject just under it. Dr. Galliano numbed the area under my eye, then used a sterile pair of scissors to cut it off at the base. She wanted us to remove it. And so we shall. And so we have. And that was it. He applied some silver nitrate to stop the bleeding and in seconds finished. Yeah, that's and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, so there are other safe ways to remove a skin tag, laser therapy, cryotherapy, or again, that medical grade blade. He just used some scissors and snipped it off. There are also some natural ways that people say are effective, but again, maybe consult with your doctor just to be sure. I saw something where somebody said banana peels will actually like work <laughs> over time to get it going. Well, so it feels like it would take a long time. Exactly, <laughs> right. and that's the thing. All these things may or may not work and take a lot of time. And you look absolutely perfect. Oh, well, thank today. you. So I'm sure it did not leave a scar. <laughs> you know, it didn't, it didn't. And if you look closely, yeah, you don't really see anything. Tart, my husband was like, why did you do that? And you know, for women, and you're always in there kind of putting on makeup and you yeah. feel something and you feel like it's growing, it, oh, yeah. you know, it's a choice if you want to get rid of it. Well, if you rub it enough, it can start to bleed, and yeah. then, you know, you're yeah. on TV every day. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's, it does. It's well, an yeah. issue. You get to the point where that's all you see when you look Right, exactly. And so the only thing when he put that um, little nickel or nitrate on it just to kind of stop the bleeding, um, that was that left a black mark, but over that went away in just a few days. So I'm back. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> all right, so now if you missed any of our coverage on our skincare secrets throughout the morning show, you will find it right on newsforjax.com now, including how to get started on that skincare routine some basics here and also products to skip and the ones that do work including collagen that actually make a difference.